Hi everyone on YouTube. I wanted to do a um, specific gravity test on uh, precious metals. After watching the video of the fake Philharmonica which I uploaded, um, if you've not seen it, it's in my videos. It was actually quite surprising because those coins have not been out very long um, and that looked a real good copy. Um, the only thing that let it down was its thickness but its weight was exactly 31.1 grams um, its diameter was almost spot on 37 millimeters, which it should have been, um, but it should have been two millimeters wide. Um, and you know, because gold coins, because of the numismatic value of a coin, um, some people tend to not measure the thickness because you don't want to scratch the coin. So that's something to be aware of. So what we're going to do today is we're going to measure the specific gravity. Um, and unfortunately, uh, this is the only plastic cup I could find. The glass cup is a bit too heavy for the scales. So this is the um, divisible bar. And what we're going to do, because I was going to cut this one up, um, and yeah, people suggested maybe a tile cutter. I thought that's a brilliant idea. Um, but because I'm going to chop this up and stuff, I thought, all right, well, we'll do some tests with it. So we're going to measure the gravity of it, and I'll show you how to do that. This is my makeshift thing I've got at the moment. My uh, camera tripod then scales and then the silver is uh, literally hanging in the water okay so what I've done is I've uh, tied a bit of cotton to the uh, silver bar and uh, obviously that will add a little bit of weight and it's a bit wet at the moment um, you should weigh it before you tie your bit of string to it or get it wet um, and really you need scales with two decimal places these are only to one decimal place but really you need uh, two decimal places anyway we'll take that as 31.2 and then what we'll do is we'll move that off of there and we'll put this on here and we'll reset the uh, scales so we're now down to naught. So just give them a tap just to make sure they're going to naught. Because these are only accurate to 0.1, um, that's why you really want two decimal place scales. They're quite cheap on eBay now um, if you want to buy any scales. But look for the ones with two decimal places. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'll have to set it up. Um, I'm going to hang the bit of silver into there. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, silver is hanging in the water, and the silver is totally free. It's not touching the sides, it's not banging, it's totally free. Okay, and now what we've got is three grams, so that's our other measurement. We only need two measurements, so three grams. And all I've done is, like I say, this is my tripod, and then a bit of cotton, and then a clip. So you can just adjust the height. If you tie it on there, you can adjust the height with the tripod, but... It's just easier if you just use a clip. Also, the reason why I'm using silver and not a gold coin is I don't have a one ounce gold coin. I have a gold sovereign, but it's a numismatic coin and I don't particularly want to uh, mess around with it. So, if you've got a gold coin and you're worried about it being fake, um, this is where you should have a go. And they do say because tungsten is very close specific gravity to gold, um, it's all the tests that count. So, you know, you measure the diameter, the thickness, you measure its weight, and then you measure the specific gravity. And when you've done all those three tests, you have to then decide whether it's real or not. Right, so we do the uh, calculations. Okay, so the calculation is 31. Point, oh, hang on. It's not quite bright enough for the solar powered calculator, right? 31.2, which is just, that's why I was saying about two decimal places with the scales. Also, it had a little bit of cotton on, so it's possible that, um, you know. All right, so then we divide that by our other number, which was 3 grams. And that gives us a specific gravity of 
Now pure silver should be 10.5, so it's very close. And that's what I was saying about the um, two decimal places, that um, because of rounding up and stuff, it probably would be about 10.5. Um, so yeah, look on eBay, and if you want to get some scales, look for the two decimal point ones. Um, yeah, so hopefully um, everybody's learnt something by watching this video. And if you are worried, because I was quite surprised by watching that um, Philharmonica, the gold one, that looked like a mint coin. Um, uh, I'll add the uh, link to the guy's page. He did have some other videos of him doing a specific gravity test with that coin, and it cut up into bits. But there wasn't a video of the actual the coin with the uh, showing the different metal inside. Um, which would be good to see but be aware that uh, there are fake coins out there and with the price of gold going up and up and up there's obviously more chance of uh, fake 